If you're given a potential energy diagram, how do you draw the potential energy diagram for the reverse reaction? Oh, you're going to love this. So I want you to actually keep the axes as they are with your y-axis here and your x-axis there. But the answer is that this is just going to get mirrored like there's a mirror straight down this line here. And everything that happens as you move to the right here will be happening as you move to the left here. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start with the reactants, same level, but on the far left, or right this time. And then as this moves to the left, I'm going to be moving to the right, trying to mirror it on this side. It goes up to about here and then down. And then we've got to go a little further and higher up to another hump. And then we're going to fall back down all the way to here. See what I mean by it's a mirror? The reverse reaction starts with the products that you made in the forward reaction. And in order for it to be the reverse reaction, you've actually got to do the same steps, but in reverse. So however much energy was released to get from your transition state to your products here is now the activation energy from your now reactants up to its transition state, etc., etc. That's how it is. You can label these axes the exact same thing that you did before. This is the reaction coordinate. More importantly, you're done. Welcome and best of luck.